just moved around Dennis Setzer for third. So while we were watching the race leader, he picked off both Corelli and Setzer. There they are. Sprague. What a come. Oh, look out. Brendan Gaughan comes down and gets contact and in. Now remember that we do not finish the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series under yellow. That means that with less than 10 laps to go, yeah, look at Gary. He knows this is trouble because the top lead lap trucks will get to the front of the line. Jack Sprague is going to be just a few feet behind the race leader. This is not over. And Jack Sprague is the one who hates these green-white checkers the most. But it may be the only thing that saves his chance at victory today and could take it away from that man right there, Randy Tolzma. Well, and I'm sure there's going to be some uh, question on some of these guys' part as to uh, whether he did that intentionally or not, because now then he does have a chance to win this race. Without that yellow, he had no chance whatsoever. Well, Brendan Gaughan is out. Let's go take another look at it. Let's see what happens. He's coming off of the corner. and. You can see right there, that was not an intentional bump. Brendan Gaughan got a little bit sideways, and when he did, the truck whipped back down into the right front of Jack Sprague and uh, just turned him around. Take another look at it. Brendan Gaughan, the back end gets out a little bit, and when he comes down the racetrack, Jack was already there. Jack had no place to go unless he wanted to spin himself. So uh, that was just one of those things that happens. But in this case, it was very fortunate for Jack Sprague. Number one, that he kept going, and number two, that he's got a yellow. Yeah, tough.